we are going to be getting into my FabFitFun box. This is my first box I ever got from FabFitFun and I'm so excited to be doing this because I want to tell you guys what I think about it, if it's worth it, what I got. Now I did open it prior because to be completely honest with you, I, I'll do the odd first impression on my channel. However, whenever it comes to something, I like to do either a full review or I like to get an idea of how the product performs prior to coming on here because I don't want to open up the box and say, yeah, it's worth it. Let's tuck that back in there. Say, yes, it's worth it. And then a couple days later, think, why did I just spend $79? And then you go out and buy it and it's not even worth it. So today I'm going to tell you guys my actual thoughts about FabFitFun and I can't wait to do that. So let's get right into this. I'm from Canada, so I spent $79 on it and I got the editor's box, which is what I wanted. And you also got uh, to choose a couple items out of the box, which was pretty cool because I don't want to be stuck with something that I don't like. So I was really excited that some of it was me choosing it and some of it was going to be a surprise. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in my FabFitFun box. Okay, so this is how the box comes. They're very colorful box. It's a big box. It's nice. And I love how they keep their packaging simple. You get a little flyer in here and it's a lot of things about FabFitFun, which is nice. Actually, I do really like that. And you have like your horoscopes in here. There's a bunch of different things. I liked this and I actually went through it and read quite a bit of it, which is surprising. But anyway, you get a little magazine. So they had it um, packed nicer than I did, but I kind of went through it. So we're, this is how I packed it back up. But I'm gonna put a picture of how the box actually looked like right here. <laughs> Along with your magazine, you also got a little note and it said a note from us and it just talks about FabFitFun and then on the back, it shows you your item selection that you got to choose and what came in the box and it also showed your pricing, which is really nice. I like how they do that. So this says what's in the box, total retail value $300. Um, and $8 to 382 and it says depending on your selection. So this is a HelloFresh gift card for $60 and it's a really, really good gift card. I love the idea of HelloFresh. I really, really do. However, I just feel like I'm not going to use this. You have to claim it within 30 days. I went on there trying to like pick out some different things and to be completely honest with you, I just spent $79 on a box. Even if at the end of the day, I'm only paying shipping for my meals, I just don't feel like right now I would use it because I just don't right now. But if you're someone who's looking to get into eating healthier, someone who's looking into saving time like cooking meals and stuff, this may be great for you. $60 gift card is really, really good. I feel like I would use this. I feel like I would try HelloFresh, just not right now. So if I were to get a different box, I may try it. But for this time right now, I don't think I would. It's just, I don't think so. So I'm just being honest with that. The next thing is from Pier 1 and I've never had anything from there. I don't think so anyway. And I was excited because it's Pier 1. <laughs> what could it be? And there are these really cute bowls. Like they're cute. I like them. Some people may say I'll have no use for them. And I'm saying I'm going to have a use for them because they're so stinking cute. Look at them. Look how cute these bowls are. They're adorable. And we get one more. I like them. I really, really love these. They're so cute. I will be using them. So this right here was $24.99. In a store, would I pay that? Maybe. I may have paid that in the store if I see them because these are really cute and these are something that I, I will use. Then I also got a Carity Hydra... <sighs> I can't pronounce this, but this is a hydrating shine mask. This is for dry hair. It's not like a little sample size. Like this is a nice fair size bottle for a hair mask. Because it's winter time, my hair could always, always use hair masks. Now I am stuck on my Finola one, but I will always give a hair mask a try because you never know. So this one says after shampooing, 
Um, apply a dab of it on your hair. Leave for five, two to five minutes. Detangle, rinse. Oh, cool. Use one to two times a week. Okay, so I'm going to try this out for sure because it seems like it's really good. I've heard good things about it. Oh, they seal this. That's what I like. I hate when you go to like the drugstore or anywhere and they have products and they don't even have a seal on it. And they come like that. And it's almost like, well, did someone use it? Mm, this smells nice. This smells really nice and light. So this was $36, which I feel is a pretty good price for a hair mask, considering they say you only need to use a dab of it. So we will test that out and we will see. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce these right. Black or black you? <laughs> I don't know what these are, but I've always wanted to try eye masks. So these are gel eye masks. They are $29 for five of them, which like five sets, which I feel like is pretty good because you get five of them. So let's see. I did try some Tarte ones the other night and they were okay. Um, oh, these are nice. And I like how they come in here and look, so you leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes. Cool. Okay. So I got two Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Deep Cleansing Masks. To be honest, I've tried the Glam Glow. It was like a face moisturizer, something like that. It did not go well with my face. I have not tried the, um, like the charcoal one because I just don't know how Glam Glow is going to do. But I chose these instead of essential oils because I wanted to give Glam Glow a try. These are $18 for two of them. I am excited to try these because it's a bubble one. So it's going to be really cool to try and see how it is. If you guys want to see me trying them on camera, let me know. I did a bubble one in the past. So if you guys want to see me try these, I'd be happy to. Next up is a blanket. This is from Mark and... Graham personalized gifts. I can finally open it. A nice knit one. Very nice. Might as well get comfy while I'm talking about the blanket. This is a color block throw and it is $49. To be honest with you, I like it. The color is nice. It's really, really cute. It's comfy. It's soft. And I feel like this is one of those things where people always want like a nice one, but they don't want to spend the money on one. So for it to be that price in this box, it kind of almost makes up the box. The one thing is though, I feel like FabFitFun, this is what I see. They normally have a lot of blankets, towels. That's what I see. I could be wrong. I could have just been watching like the same box. But after getting these boxes a couple times, I'm going to see if getting blankets and towels is a thing. I feel like I'd want to like skip that option because how many towels and blankets do you really need? That one's really nice. But if I were to get another one in my next, um, my next box that I get, do I really need another one? We'll see. I'll see. <laughs> okay, this is what I've been excited about. I actually wanted to buy one of these, but I didn't because I was actually hoping it would come in the box. This is a sponge beach grass body wash infused buffer. Now I've wanted one of these because I feel like it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort out of showering <laughs> and getting ready. So this is all you need. It smells amazing and what you're supposed to do is it's a body wash and a buffer. So that means your soap is in here, your buffer exfoliator is in here. That's all you need. And I'm so excited to try this because it's just one. Like I don't need to bring a bunch of bottles and bottles with me. I just need this. I wish they had a case for it. That would be cool if they had like a case for this or a string so you could hang it because I feel like that would be a little bit better. Maybe they do. Maybe I have to go on their website. This is $16 to be completely honest with you. If you're gonna buy yourself a scrubber and a soap, you're basically gonna be at that price. So I wanna see how long this is going to last. I've wanted to try this for a long time since I've seen it coming around, everything like that. I'm so excited I have it and it smells amazing. So I I'm, I'm really, really excited. So there's three things left. So this is a hand cream, botanical, I believe I'm saying that right, hand cream. And this is a plant-based moisturizer, I believe, or something like that. I opened it up and I smelled it and I'm not trying to knock anyone. I'm not trying to knock anything, nothing like that. 
I just feel like there's some natural hand creams or face moisturizers. There's just certain products, skincare products, when they're natural and have like a plant base to them that smell too planty for me. I don't know how else to say it. And there's a couple of reasons why I'm saying that because I have, I don't know what this is, but this Cadenelli. This is a moisturizing sorbet and it is like a plant-based natural face one and it just has a certain smell to it which is how come I don't use it. Very nice formula. I love it. It's just I would rather it have less of that plant smell and I really hope I'm not knocking anyone. I don't want to, I don't like doing that but it's just something that I don't really like to reach for because of that smell. I prefer a scent where it's a lot lighter than it having a more plant scent. And to be honest with you, the packaging, it just, it's like breaking already. You see that right there? It's like breaking. This is worth $55 if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I would not pay $55 for this in the store. The formula may be great, but one, it's just the packaging because this is coming apart up here. It There's nothing like to it. It feels like there's a lot of air in here and I don't know, it's just the scent to me. There's something weird about the scent, but I will give it a try. We'll see how it goes, but that's how I'm feeling about this. This one, not really, not really excited for. This I am though. This is the Thrive Cosmetics brilliant eye brightener to be honest with you i've been seeing uh is it kathleen lights there was a lot of people i've been watching lately that have been trying thrive and i was actually going to go on and buy a couple things from thrive however i knew i was getting a fat fit fun box so i thought let's just wait just in case i get something and i did and it is the eye brightener and i like it because it's a light enough color and it also has a built-in sharpener which is amazing i hate when products don't either come with a sharpener or you can only use it a couple times and you have to sharpen it but to be honest with you like this color it's not really going to show up because i have really really fair skin this is going to be nice for like the inner corners this is going to be nice for on top of my lids especially because i have like pale skin the the color is going to look really nice and subtle and i really like the creaminess and the texture of it it stays put. I really, really, really like it. So I can't wait to try this out. So this was actually worth 24. And to be honest with you, I would have paid the 24 because I like the packaging. I love the consistency. You can apply it above, below the eyebrows. I like that. Lastly, this was $58. You had a choice of this or a scarf. I chose this and it is just a little purse. It's small, but I really like it. I really like it actually. And you open the flap, take the paper out, and on the inside, it's pretty plain. There's like one compartment, but that's about that. To be honest though, this is something that I needed. Something really, really, really small so I can just fit my wallet, a moisturizer, lip balm, a little bit of stuff and go. I do not need to carry around a ton of things with me. It's super classy. I like it. This alone, basically with the Thrive's cosmetic thing, was what I paid for the whole box. So what I think of Fat Fit Fun is that it's almost like kind of like a replenishment of products. If you like to do videos, if you like to try new things, it's a good way to get to know different brands and everything. I find for $79, you got quite a bit of stuff. Like I'm being honest, you got quite a bit of stuff for $79 it is worth it in my opinion. However, I do wanna say that I did use a $10 off discount code. I do have a $10 off code, it'll be in the description. I make no money off of it, I'm just saying. And also FabFitFun does some things where your friends get free boxes, but they pay for shipping and you get like three of those. So if you follow me on Instagram, I will post on my story that like, if you want a free box, send me your email, blah, blah, blah. I'll give you those codes. But like I said, if you want a discount code to use, I'll put mine in the description box down below. This way you guys can try out FabFitFun for a little bit less than $89. It'd be $79 if you're from Canada. If you're not, I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost, but you can, you can try that out. But I seriously think it's worth it. I kept it real with you guys. I told you guys what I would use, what I wouldn't use, even though there's two items that I'm not too fond of, it, the box is still made up itself. So 
yeah. Oh, the one thing I do want to mention about FabFitFun is I like how friendly they are even on Instagram. When I would post things on my story, they would respond, they would talk to you, they're very, very friendly, and I love that about them. So all in all, very, very good experience. I'm surprised and I will be getting another box. So if you want to see me open up the box in like on camera the next one I get, let me know if you like this way better. Let me know and if whatever review you guys want to see from the box, leave that product in the comment down below so that I can try it out and review it for you guys on here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.